we're at. This was the first, so we don't have a play on. 611. So, roll call. Sage Alexander, not present. Emily Baxter, not present. Teresa Baxter, not present. Susan Horowitz is excused. Iris Hannon, present. Danielle Kaveny, here. Eve Lacey, Jennifer Miller, here. Melody Niski is uh, excused today. Nettie Kevin, here. Cindy Tiger, here. All right, and Angela is uh, excused today. Laura, I'm here. Um, Councilperson Susie Hidalgo Barry is not here tonight yet. I have uh, Eric is with me, and Eric is here. Yeah. Public invited to be heard? No. No. Corrections to the May 16th minutes. Anyone got any corrections? Everybody looked to hear that, right? Well, I did. It looked good to me. Okay. I need a motion to approve the minutes. I need approve the minutes. Second? Second. Ready. All in favor of approving the minutes? That is six. I, zero nays, zero abstentions. Or is there abstentions from people that are here? No, it's not here. So okay. Who, uh, who, who was the first to move? Eve moved. Betty seconded. Sorry, we're going to go so fast. Yeah, I know. I, I know. We are going to go fast. <laughs> I'm not a slow pony anyway. <laughs> okay. Are there any additions or corrections to tonight's agenda? No? Laura, you don't have any additions or corrections? Um, Nettie brought up that she would like a new link to the maintenance report, but I, that's not due. Okay. But I'm going to send it to you all after this so that we get a refresh on the maintenance reports um, as a PDF as well as a website. Okay. But I added that under new business okay. with the college report. Council comments? Or, Nominating committee, Jennifer and Danielle. So, uh, how did the interviews go? Very interesting. You had five people? No, we had we had four counting Iris, right? And we had three this time. But we counting the we're just counting the one just the three that the last interviews. So we had yeah, three left people. Yeah, yeah just one. the three. Yeah, okay. We had three. Yeah. We did recommend all three of them to go on to council for their approval. And Iris, okay. Iris is re upping. Yeah. And um, I think they're gonna be great additions. Okay. And we still are looking for our top priorities are still um, somebody who, who our top priorities what we're looking for in this round also are diversity, uh, people who have some skills and abilities to bring to the city and to the arts, and knowledge of AI. Some knowledge there. So we felt like all three of them did. All right, excellent. Well, I'm looking forward to. I'm supposed to ask Susie when the interviews are scheduled, but did you have an interview with the council already? Yes, I did one already and I got my letter. With us, though. But yeah, just, oh, <coughs> right. Just, yeah, I don't know, maybe. We don't maybe, know. I, don't know. I didn't okay. have a second interview. I didn't have a second interview. Okay, okay. I'm sorry. I, I thought I don't think that you will. Okay. I don't think, but we don't. You know, some of the stuff is like different every time. Right. So, yeah, but right. it seems like it's so, still going to council, and council is having this brief interview. But is I have had Zoom. Yeah, Zoom interview. Right. Yeah. Okay, so we don't know if they'll be approved for the next meeting. Maybe we don't. We hope so because yeah, I, think that, I think I yeah. think that this is so the last council. I would think by their maybe next week's meeting, one of them vote to approve. Either that or they're going to have to schedule their Zoom interviews. Yeah. yeah. Or something. No. Yeah. All right. So, great. Thank you. Yes, it was fun. Clover Meadows Park. Selection panel process. Jennifer and Teresa. Well, Jennifer, also your book. Um, okay, so we had all, I mean, Angela is so impressive. I just could not say enough about how she's so good at facilitating the process, the voting, the, um, the fairness, the impartiality of each person, and um, so we did have, you know, I think we reported on, we had one meeting where we went through 
the 94 applicants and brought them and chose the three that we wanted to hear from. Then we had the meeting of the three artists making their presentations by Zoom. They were all from out of state. So they were all on Zoom showing us their studio, slides of what they've done, um, presenting their budgets and the whole thing. And then we were able to choose the one that we really liked. Uh, all of them were really interesting. And of course, there's not like a one way to do this kind of thing. So each presented in a slightly different way. Some of them were more organized than others. Some of them emphasized some things more than others. And um, then we, you know, Parks was, Parks and, Parks and Parks, two people from the city of Parks were, I think they were both from the Parks Park, were giving um, their feedback about how this would look in the park, how it would fit. Do we want a piece that you look up to? Do we want a piece that's like mainly on the ground? We talked about this a fair amount. And then anyway, we did choose one artist. I don't know this person's name. I forgot what his name is. Yeah, it's, it's not a contract yet, so. I thought it was. They're working on it. They are working on it. He is currently getting a redesign approved oh, right. by the city, so there's no contract as of yet. So, I mean, I just cannot say enough things about Angela's process and how we all did it. And, you know, there was some. It was a very fair discussion with everyone giving input, and then we voted by secret ballot, and then, you know, because she's got ways of handling it also. But anyway, that part was great. Um, certainly, the process of doing this, you know, you apply everything that you want to see from the park, all the creativity of this artist, who you like, you know, all these different factors. But the truth is, what they propose is probably not what we're going to get because it all has to go through the revision. Yeah. So we end up voting on something. They propose something, we end up voting on that, but that's not what we're going to get, and we don't really know yet. It's going to be close. It's going to be close. Think? Yes. Yeah. Okay. I mean, All right. I do, I think, because they have the basic concept, and they might have to change things or change the heights and something, but it'll be. It'll, it'll be. It'll same. be going that direction. Yeah. More that direction than any other. Part. Yeah. Okay. The thing that I, I've, I've been to five or six of these now, uh -huh. and. When, when we did Fox Meadows, which is the next topic, um, I had to tell the people, the selection committee, what you're looking at in these slides is their body of work, and you're not going to get anything like this right. when they submit. And that's hard to understand, but you're not going to get anything like this. And what you're looking at is who has the designs that I like, who sort of has the same feeling about what we like in the park and who, you know, do you like the the media they work in or do you like the the you know giant mammoth things they do or do you like you know it's 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 really a hard thing especially for I think the selection panel that are from the neighborhoods. Yeah they don't it's hard to conceive that oh I really like that little bear but you're not going to get a little bear. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah. You know, so it's a hard thing to understand. I think Angela does a really good job of trying to describe that, but really, it's, she does try, and it, it's so hard to explain because people people see what they they're expecting to see what they see, and that's not what you're going to get. It is a kind. Of, it's a combination between intuition, the spirit of this person's creativity and how it lines up with our own, with my personal idea of creativity, and also the quantifiable factor, which is did they follow the instructions? Did they answer the questions we asked? Did they give us the information we want? Yeah. And Angel does stress that a fair amount, because we ask them, like, they have to do their artist statement. They have to answer these particular questions, like, you know, what's your timetable? Have you done these outdoor things before? All that kind of stuff. Yeah. I want to stress that. You know, when you're choosing artwork, you don't see the back end of it. So Angela is doing a great job as an admin to make sure that the artworks that we're getting are top quality, but also the artists are easy to work with and they're, you know, checking out the boxes. So yeah. that's one of the reasons why she emphasizes that so much. Yeah. So yeah, the quality is like insane that she adheres to. Yeah, it is. It is. It's quite an interesting process. I have made this kind of. I haven't made exactly these kinds of decisions. But I have done this kind of stuff before where you have like a giant pile of paper and you're trying to look through trying to figure out what where you want to give money or where you want to. And sometimes it's just, you know, there's no rules that make it foolproof. You know? 
So anyway, it's going to be really interesting. But I did, I, we all really did like the artists that we chose, and we also did really like the person's vision. Now we'll see what we get next. Yeah. yeah. Um, I want to especially thank Nettie and Eve for uh, helping out yes, on that with you. the timekeeping and the question asking back and forth. That was really helpful, and we appreciate your help on that. And, and as we said, we're just waiting for the artist to come. Or the artist has come back with another design. We're just waiting for the city to find it. I think that Angela needs to have a meeting with Risk to confirm that the new design is approved and then they can move forward. Okay. But it's very close. It's very, very close. Okay, then next is. Thanks. I'm glad that's going along. Yes, thank you. And that is that seems to be in process. And these I mean, that, that park is in process. You know, this is, about, I think this is about my third one, too. This is the first time I've been on the actual selection panel. But if you can possibly come to any of these things, it's really great. It's so worth it to see Yes, it process. really is worth it. It really is worth it. I strongly encourage everybody yeah. to come. I came to both of the Clover Park and the, the Clover Meadows and the Fox Meadows and not able to vote, but as we all know, I have <laughs> well, so, so, anyone can comment. Yes, anyone. Yeah. Uh, after the panel makes all their comments, then you know, public is invited. Yeah. So, so it's, it's, it's completely, really it's yeah. completely worthwhile to try to try it out. Um, which also reminds me, are we keeping track of our hours still? I would like you to. So all those hours that we put in <laughs> on those are keep track. Keep track. Why do we want to keep track? Because we have a new volunteer coordinator here at the museum, and she's doing an amazing job just basically quantifying, you know, what you guys do for the museum. And it's really important to us that, you know, we recognize you and also see how much you give back. Because, uh -huh. yeah, what you do, it means things to us, and we want to make sure that we see it and that you get seen. What I did see, right, or SD, uh, some, some, some brands do ask how many hours of volunteer time. Mm -hmm. Incidentally, our Public Places Commission actually has the highest number of volunteer hours of all the various groups that, you know, between docents and people working in collections and things like that. So well, congratulations to you all for all If this so makes it anybody, any easier for anybody, what I've been doing is I've just been keeping track of my calendar. Mm -hmm. I just make it sort of like a little all-day thing and I say AIPP, 2.5 hours. AIPP, 0.5 hours, and just under each day that I do something, I just make a note in my calendar, then when the time comes to tabulate, it'll all be there. <laughs> and then there'll be a big party. Yes, <laughs> woo! <laughs> okay, so on to number nine, Fox Meadows Park. There were 77 submissions to review to whittle down to the shortlist. Um, this week, I believe, this week or next week, they are actually starting construction of the park. They fence it up and they mowed the grasses down, which the people in the in the um, selection committee were like, "Well, they mowed all the grass down," but they're, but they're all excited about there being a park there soon. So, um, so Nettie, how it says, ask Pamela and Nettie how submission review is going. <laughs> Didn't we do that? Didn't we? We submission. Yeah, I don't understand that even the question here. Did you come down to the three? We did yeah. pair it down to three. Yeah. Okay. We actually yeah. paired it down to three and an alternate. Yeah. So yeah. and um, I'm pretty happy with the three we chose. They were uh, they're very different. Yeah, each one. Very different, but yeah. also yeah, you know different. any of them would look good in the park. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah. And so we're we're there. We're the meeting is. July 22nd for it's on Monday though. Yes, yeah. so Monday, July 22nd is the pairing down of the or the seeing the presentations by the group. Oh, um, do we know what time? It's I believe we're going to try and start at four. I think it was three. Three was the it's earliest. Three. I think four is okay. time. Right. Is early and uh, I really strongly encourage people to come because it's really interesting. It watching the watching yeah, the presentation by the artist is really interesting about. Who's professional? Who's not professional? Who, you know, who meets the criteria? And the things that, no matter what the submissions look like, you get something different. You get something completely different. 
We are also anticipating the three artists to come in and do an in-person presentation. Well, two from be... Colorado and one from Santa Fe, so... Wow. Yeah, it'll be nice. It'll be nice. Now, did you have any other additions to that meeting that we had, or...? No, I, I, it is three that we Okay, okay. Second, yeah. I believe, I think Angela will follow up, but... Okay, could you, can you send a note to everyone? Yeah, oh, no, yeah. To, Angela will probably send a note to everyone saying, hey, this is happening, please RSVP, because okay. we have to make sure that we have enough food for everyone. Right. And good choices about the food. Great. Very happy with that. Good. I'm glad. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next. Ted, shot birds. Now, has everybody voted? Has everybody looked at the boxes and voted? Do you need help this weekend? Let's go tomorrow. Um, no, I don't need any help. But yes, if you can go and go vote, um, that would be awesome. If they are, I'm moving the boxes over to the museum on Monday. Do you need help with that? Do I? <laughs> I mean, if you, anybody wants to help at Monday, 9 o'clock in the morning, like. Don't they? But it also doesn't have to get involved. Open. They're open at 9. They're usually, their doors. Somebody's open. Open. Um, No, I don't think, I don't think I'm, I only really need help setting up so that you guys can have a decision on what it looked like. Because, you know, boxes and designs and the way that they look all together is not, it's something that you guys take pride in, and I wanted to give that to you. Okay. Which you did. Where are, we, where are we setting them up in the museum? Here in the atrium. No. Are they going to just come on those little tables? Yes, the tables will be used. Same kind of setup. I don't think we're going to do the long way. I think we'll probably do two rows so that they're not quite in the way of everything. Yeah. But I still need to talk to Justin, who's the venues, yeah. uh, the atrium, Stuart, yeah. auditorium coordinator. Okay. Right? I mean, so you're yeah, not what I'm saying is the tables are next to me with the paper on it and the numbers, and so all we have to do is match up the boxes to the numbers. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, which I don't necessarily need help doing that. So I, I'm fine. Yeah. I was just planning on doing it myself. Well, so well if you need help, summer camp check in as well. So about yeah, I might. Well, I think they're going to be on the far side of the atrium, not quite in the front, because we already mixed the. Um, the benches and the windows as a place because they're too too much to sit there. Or there's too much interference with the kids. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so if you haven't go, gone to go vote this week, it's moving over here until July 13th. We close July 13th. That's also the free day the museum. Um, I have already counted a little under 300 votes, and I still have a big stack that I need to go through, and I haven't been to collect votes in about a week. So I'm assuming that there's another probably. 200 or so in that box. Um, so we're getting a pretty decent turnout. Yeah. Are you finding them <laughs> easy, to, easy to understand? Oh, yeah, yeah. And I'd say that I, of the submissions, maybe 10 of them are not legit. Really? And well, nobody's not, not legit, but legible. Le legible, legit, or like valid something. Like nobody's, nobody's playing games with us, which is great. Excellent. <laughs> okay, and in July, the AIPP will be looking at the results, will be tabulating, will be, and I don't even know who's on that committee. Eve? Oh, yeah, sorry, I was kind of. Oh, yeah, no, no. Kind of Eve, Pamela, and Sage are on the Shopper committee. And me. Oh, yes, yes, you joined. And then just a note I don't know if anybody really cares too much about it, but apparently there was some from last year who didn't paint their box. And now they're painting the one by Ziggy's at Hover. And Angela told me because I even saw it and it all looked like someone had just decided to paint this box. Oh, the one at Ziggy's? Ziggy's on a uh, over at 17. And over. Really? And I so I um, said something to you guys and Angela said it actually was somebody from last yeah, year who so, had a chance to paint. But anyway, it's not done yet still. So Sage had a box before they joined the commission and then it got accidentally graffiti sealed before they were able to finish oh, the box. Yes. Yes, and then they tried they tr they tried to prime it just in certain areas, but it just wasn't working. So Sage was reassigned that box at Ziggy's. Got it. So that they're now painting that because they are under contract to still paint the box, okay. but they can't paint their original box because it's primed. It's, okay. Cool. Or it's yeah, it's yeah. it's kind of a material nightmare. Okay. Well, anyway, it's not done yet. 
But there is another artist that hasn't finished from last year that's it's on Clover Basin. Okay. Um, but it's like the Mario box. Yeah. I, I haven't passed that box in a while and haven't heard from the artist. They, they seem to think that they're done, I think. It doesn't look like the box that we got as the yeah. model. Yeah. I guess that's also another Angela thing because she deals with the contracts. Yeah. Um, and she's the one that's been interacting with the artist in particular to get that done. So um, that's a big thing to check in on. That's a great box at CD's location. It is, yeah. It's a really good. I didn't have it on my shirt list for this year because it's in pretty good shape. But it's a really good location. All right. So sometime in July, we'll all get together and we'll look at the accounts and we'll decide which box goes where. Um, has have let's see. Here. So Pam and Sage aren't here, but have you looked at the list to see which ones? I did, and I submitted it to Angela. And then, and then she sent it. Sorry, I didn't bring it. I thought there was a kind of more final list. Okay, but I. I think we, uh, we just boxes to assign. Yeah, we, we had gotten um, recommendations from LPC on the boxes that needed to be addressed, like immediately, and then also a few others that were, you know, still in okay shape, but definitely needed a little bit more love. Um, so we came up with a short list, and then I emailed you earlier this month, um, but I haven't heard back from either Sage or Pamela about those locations. So we may we might need to have a meeting about it just to finalize it at some point, but because we have seven boxes for we, this year. Yeah, we have, we're gonna paint seven boxes this year. We have eight that are kind of like need to paint slash prefer paint. But again, um, I can't really comment and ask without Angela here. So. Yeah, it wasn't totally clear to me like what I was, if I was supposed to do something after that. I went, or I took I took the list and I just drove around town the whole, and I spent a couple of hours just driving by the boxes and saying, yeah, that one looks good, yeah, that one took some pictures, and said this one looks, is in terrible shape, this one looks perfectly fine, I don't know why they want to do this one, we can't do that one because it's in a horrible location that nobody can even see, you know, that sort of thing, I just drove by. Because they said it's a list of like 20 boxes. Yeah, um, and yeah, I agree. Some of the boxes, I think, when I think about an artist painting on the side of the road, it's very unsafe, and I would not want to yeah. do that to somebody. Yeah. Well, then the other thing I was a little confused about is that some of them were like across the street from another box that was already painted. Yes. Yeah. So I thought, well, I don't know. One of those was one that I think is on the approved list, and so I thought, oh, okay, but. Yeah, so those some of are really yeah. those boxes we just down, so maybe we don't need help across the street from them. Yes, I mean ideally but. they're they're kind of you know more spread out, but some boxes are just in worse shape than others, and yeah. it's just right along the over in, in that area. There are a lot of boxes, and there are a lot of them that are painted. But as they get older and weather warm, LPC wants to have them painted. I get it, but yeah. yeah. So yeah, we just need a little bit more um, coaching on what it is that you want us to do. Yes, I agree. Yeah. So, item 11, maintenance. The conservador came to do a little bit of work on Nature's Way because it, on top of all its other little problems, something came along and graffitied it. So, um, Angela sent me a picture of the big trees wrapped in, uh, the conservative wrapped it in burlap to kind of keep it from totally disintegrating. Disintegrating, yes. <laughs> I thought they, is, didn't she wrap that so that they weren't going to keep graffitiing it because it just kept getting more graffiti? So, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. That, like, that's, that was part of it. Okay, I, was like, I thought it was just to like keep people from graffiti because it became a graffiti yeah. fight. There's, you know, that maintenance project is moving along slow and steady. Slow and steady as well. But that's fine. We've got we've got a plan, we've got the money, we're just we're just going along and getting it done. Um, and is everybody doing their maintenance reports? Yes. Hey, how are we doing? I don't see that. So what we what we decided last time, which maybe everybody remembers or maybe not, is that if you get the GPS for your for your artwork, 
if you go every couple of months or every three months or every six months, you don't have to GPS again if it hasn't moved. <laughs> <laughs> but like once a year, get a GPS on it so we can, because the GPS will get better and better when you refine it more and more. But, but yeah, the, the first maintenance, the first report on everything involves GPS and it takes a while. But after, it should be like, oh, look, I'm just driving by the Humane Society and they've got that, that, that dog is on my list. You drive in there, you look it over, no graffiti, and you drive away. It takes 20 seconds. And the app is really fast. Too. Yeah, the app yeah. is great. Yeah. yeah. I mean, sometimes I like the the brass plaque on the street in front of the little old church on May. It's getting very warm. I mean, you can walk over it all day long, every day, right? And I don't know, I did, you know, I texted Angela, and she said, well, there's really not much we can do. It's going to leave us yeah. at some point. Yeah. I guess, I don't know if it could be recast or whatever, eventually. But when we do a bronze cast or something, do we get the cast or does ours keep it? No, the artist keeps it. Yeah. And it's over 20. Yes, it's a, that's so old. I can't that's yeah, the first it's ones we get. So. Yeah, I just love that piece so much. But, you know, you know. You know, the painting in the library, the blue, whatever it's called, uh, that's based on that. Well, that's right. It doesn't have the detail or what are the interesting detail in it, but it is based on that. Okay. Just <laughs> FYI. I think I'm <laughs> Because I know everything. <laughs> Um, and then I'm going to send an email as per Nettie's uh, request of the online uh, so that we just have it front in front and center so that you can just get to it and not have to dig around for it. Thank you. Has anybody seen any problems with any of their maintenance? Damage with any, hmm? any of their... Yeah, the, the pieces that you were assigned, is there any um, major things that are happening? The, the cost of that. Around the the one I know, because of the the bronze, the bronze, oh. like the caulking. Yeah, um, but that's not my list. <laughs> okay, so okay. Yeah. Okay. Also, the the caulking around. I don't know if this is going to address, but the one around the day to day planting, just in one of the breezeways, oh. it needs attention around its spring. Right. You see? Oh, the day to day. One. Yeah, it's called. Yeah, yeah, it's not yeah, yeah. Um, that's that door pulled off. I don't know what that. Um, is anyone assigned to that piece that is in this room? Um, even if you see that something like that inside your artwork, right. just go ahead and submit it. Right, that's, that's what I've been pretty much done. Yeah. Um, and also, if there's any graffiti or anything that's very dangerous with the piece, email us right away. So. Thank you. Does a beehive count as danger? I don't know. I put it in my I put it in my maintenance. Where, stuff, which what which piece? Uh, what is it? I just like trying to find the name of it. It's the uh, I don't want to say the wrong thing. Because I think we can we can tell parks about it and they can. It was it's no longer river. It's the one that's like the like mosaic y kind of like oh, yeah. like I don't know piece of. The, Oh my gosh, I can't think of what park that is right now off of Hobart. Rogers Grove? Yes, yes. On the wall? Mm -hmm. There's like a huge wasp nest over on that side. So like going over onto the east side, I live, it's just like there's just like so many of them over there. So I put, I put it in the maintenance request just as a, a no. I think we can, we can contact parks to get that out. Because okay. they're the ones that would be... That would make sense. But yeah, it was just like it wasn't really the art, but it was still definitely coming from the art. Um, in a weird way. And also to Castro's Way had graffiti on it a while ago. I had told Angela about the graffiti. There's still a few spots of graffiti on that. So but I put it in the report too, but that I gave her. Yeah. But I don't know if it was just a not being able to come off or if maybe the person that was cleaning it maybe missed that part. But and I think it took a picture too if I'm not mistaken. But just throwing that at that point if I've seen recently. Also, does anybody know where taking me out to the game is at? It's yeah, in Sandstone right. Park, but it's like in the middle. Okay, and that's how I tend to find it. I could not find it the other day, so I did somebody else's it's, piece instead. It's more toward Walmart. Yeah. And it's a big archway that goes over 
Okay. Over See, the I figured it was the archway, but I was like, I do not know where this is at. So, okay. If you turn in the far east driveway that goes into Walmart, you can see it real clearly. Right? Okay, gotcha. Yes, gotcha. Yes. Yeah, yeah. All right. So, okay. New business. Labels that were so ordinary. And Collier Park. Um, can you can you talk about this? The Collier Park stuff? I can talk a little bit about it, but Angela's been the one that's been dealing with it. Yeah. So we have had some issues with a neighbor in Collier Park with um, gazebo, which is the big round steel piece. Um, it doesn't have any labels on it, and I guess children have been climbing on it. Yeah. And this resident is very upset that we don't have these currently. Angela has been trying to work very hard to get new labels for all the artworks that have up-to-date, you know, Spanish translations, accessibility, all the things that we want to, you know, make sure we're doing for all of the residents of Longmont so everybody can access and understand what the piece is about. Um, so she is trying to figure out the best way to do that. Um, the label company is, there's just some issues with the agreement of what the labels should be, like, physicality-wise. So she's just working on that. But if anybody asks you about labels, just let them know we are working on it, and we are working on it to the best of our ability based on all the things that we need to do. I did talk to her about this um, a couple of weeks ago because I, I live not too far from here. Oh, yeah. I know Nanny does too, but the kids are climbing up the and there's, there are signs on it now. Temporary yeah. signs, yes. They yeah, just yeah. on the guard, no climbing. So, yeah. Which um, we also found some like chalk graffiti on that as well, uh, maybe about a month ago, too. Okay. Okay. I found in the past, like, tin cans and stuff left in the mm -hmm. in the circles. <laughs> Yeah, the I'm sure that Riz must have signed off on it at one point. I think it was it was it was it right at a long time. It was right between when uh, Lauren left and Angela game. came, and I think that might have slipped through the cracks. I'm not 100 percent sure, but I don't see how Riz could possibly have signed off on that. Or did that? All these kids are like really ingeniously monkeys now. <laughs> I, I chased a kid up there, he took his skateboard up into one of the upper circles, and he was in a like, oh, I know. Oh. So, like, that's right across the street from my house. I opened my front door, I saw this happening, and I'm like, You get down from there. He says, he says Go back in your house, old lady. <laughs> <laughs> he says, That's oh, so I'm calling the police, right? <laughs> 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 I don't know. I, I, yeah, I don't know what we're going to do about that. Um, it's expensive to, what our hope was to like do all signs for things that don't have any signs. And then um, do the signs for like tour walk kind of things that we were, we're hoping to do. Um, but I think we're rushing through the Collier Park signs because those need to go up right away. So that's going to be a little more expensive, but we just, I don't think we can wait until we have everything so, all sorted out. So that it's going to be some kind of permanent signage. Yes. Yeah. And I don't know whether we're still thinking about putting it on a pole or whether we're talking about putting it into a, like a rock that's there. Because mm. I think sure. when that was first installed or early on, there were some small mm -hmm. signs about like this and then they. Yeah, exactly why we're, and I think it was full there, but we're working on it, we're working on it as fast as we can, but it, yeah. it takes time, and it takes time to get the signs made, and then get it, to, you know, everything get approved, and, but the Collier Park is um, a high priority for getting signs for that, for that. It is a really highly used park, I mean, there are people there all the time, mm -hmm. which is wonderful, I'd love to see it. Um, but, you know, it's just, it's, it's just going to happen. It's, yeah. It's and, and, um, do not climb signs, too. Mm -hmm. 
besides identifying signs to identify the signs too. There are a lot of pieces that we have that the do not climb signs have worn away or gone away or whatever. And once we get, if we have one do not climb sign, then we can make a whole bunch of them that we can have. I don't know what the plan is there, but we're working on it. Just let anybody know that as we're working on it. Okay. Okay, Commissioner comments? Anybody comments about anything? I just have one comment. Um, the, uh, at A.J. Davis, that has done the, uh, the animated fox yeah. and the birds, he's doing a mural in Loveland on the Lincoln Gallery. And I haven't been to see it yet, we're going to go ahead and do it. But I thought it would be kind of interesting if we could see that, um, you could watch some of the video that's, um, that's out about it. Do you know what the subject matter of the new mural is? Uh, I saw it actually on the news. Oh, okay. Um, but now I can't think what it is. There were some flowers and stuff, I can't remember exactly. It's, it's on the library, library so. No, it's on the um, Lincoln Gallery. Lincoln Gallery. Oh, on the side, on one of the walls. I guess it's not done yet. Does, our, does anybody know that it's our 3D rows of the box working? Do you know? I do not know. I haven't been there in ages. Okay. It really. It, it has been working the last time I saw it. It's just the QR code. Okay, this is lady. It is. Um, There's like a phase. The instructions seem yeah. to be a little better that you have to sit. Oh, wow. Yeah, you it's, have to stay in the little bit. So anyway, I, I just thought it was really interesting when I saw it on the news. Yeah, and this piece is wonderful. He's, yeah, he's a really he's a talented guy, also just very easy to work with. Yeah, yeah very nice guy. Okay. All right, okay. any other comments? Thank you, that's awesome, I love that. And I need a, and then we're at the end of the agenda. I need a motion to adjourn. Jennifer? Second? Second. Iris? All in favor? Six. Oh, yeah. no. And we are adjourned at 649.